Sive uh, Fishani. I'm a son of the house. I come from a very traditional family that believes too much in Sangoma and growing up I was always the child who only wanted to go to church. Sometimes I would get in trouble because my family would they don't go to salvation kind of churches. Uh, I even had questions of God is salvation bad to such an extent I'm treated like this because I just simply want to go the opposite way and I do not want to become like a traditional person. I just want to worship you. Uh, sometimes I would get a hitting. I, I, I was I would get a, some very bad hitings for just going to church. To such an extent, I say I'm not gonna go to any church. I'm just gonna sit. So sometimes if I, I get into trouble, I would wake up and clean. And then sometimes as I wake up, I would find actually this place is clean. But the question is, I'm the only one in the house who clean this house. Constantly, if the dishes were, were, were dirty, we would always find them clean the next morning. And who did it? Because everyone would say, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. And I've always had those questions of, who could this be? And someone uh, close to me said, it could be just someone who is still there in the house who didn't really die. I said, no, you can't say such things. Because I've never believed in people not actually dying and being like, spirits that are used to become zombies and stuff like that. And it was even something I've been asking myself years back. I stopped even asking myself. I just didn't mind it anymore. I was just taking life for what it is. I've seen my mother only in pictures. She died when I was very young, when I was like a baby. I was seven months. People used to say, the way your mother died it never makes sense. She just started to become crazy, saying things that don't make sense. And then she just decided to leave you when you were just seven months. There were people that would say, they see her at the, our back house. They see her sometimes there. And then I was having questions of, if only God can show me if these things are true for what they are. I was very skeptical, very scared of going into the realms. To me, the experiences from people that have said what they've been able to encounter, and they, they just sound so scary. And I got a first-hand invitation today to, to actually know what that feels like. Yesterday night, I had an, an encounter before um, today. I was just praying, and then as I'm, I'm praying, I, I stop, and then I just put my, my earphones on. I'm trying to put myself back to sleep, because I usually just listen to, to um, gospel. I'm, I'm trying to sleep, and then after that, I, I, I start to hear Papa's voice. And as I'm hearing his voice, he's in it. In his voice, because I at first I thought maybe it's the sound of the music, but no man, I didn't put Baba's song, and I'm 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 not sleeping. I know for sure I was not asleep. I was like, is this this is Baba? And as I I look on the side, I see him. He's wearing all white, and then he said to me, "Go to the nations and fight. You are the chosen one." And it's like. I, at first, I me, mean, I was, I was like, I was scared. I was like, I, I'm not ready. And I even, I resisted. I fought. I fought. I, I even said, God, God, please, please. I, when I pray, I wasn't praying for the realms. I was just praying. I, I am not ready. I am not ready. And then, I didn't know that even today I would go. I'm done telling you scriptures. I send and experience things about the Spirit of God. God moved Adam and Eve out of the realm into the natural world. 
Redemption qualifies us to re-migrate to Eden. Wake up. Sin took man out of the Eden. Righteousness qualifies man to return back to Eden. Wake up. Wake up! We are the generation that will return to Eden. Our consciousness, our lifespan will not be of this natural world. We will be caught up in the Eden of God. We will have a dual consciousness, dual existence. Can you hear that air should die? Yeah, should I? You see the tongues? The long breasted one. Oh, don't I? El Shaddai. She's there. She's there. She's there. El Shaddai. Fearful. El Shaddai. For thou shalt see the fearful side of God. Shaddai. So as Papa was telling us to ascend, to ascend, I was, it was like the power just hit me. There was nothing I could do. There was no, no resisting. I, I just let the Holy Spirit take control. And I started to feel my hands like there was some fire in my hands. There was fire, there was fire. And then I started to ascend to the realms of my past and when I say my past I don't mean the past that uh, I could be aware of I mean the past from the moment I was coming out of my my mother's uh, tummy I saw my myself coming out and as I'm coming out of my mom I'm just sitting next to her I'm it's like someone is showing me a movie it's like it was like a movie it was like a go we're just gonna take you from this step to that step from this step to that step so i i first ascend to my infant days when i was a baby i see myself coming out of my mother as i'm coming out of my mother i see my head is is not there I just see half of the infant's body and it's like I'm asking myself what is happening what is happening and I see someone putting back my face again and I am wondering how is this baby who is like the the small me is going to survive and then I I start to uh, to be shocked and then I am looking at myself with these marks there is uh, some some rituals that are done uh, here in African traditional families, I would say, including my family, it's like they take my face and they, they scratch it. And as they scratch my face, they put something inside. It's like a black particle. Then it's like the, the, the openings close again. And then as I'm, uh, I'm just sitting here, I'm, I'm moving from place to place, then I'm taken back home at the back three. There's a, there's a back tree that we used to play in. It's like a, a tree that has shelter. So we used to play there growing up. We used to, to just be kids in that tree. And we used to be told stories from other people that that tree is like a forbidden tree. But we used to grow it was in my house. So as I'm going now in, into this, I start to see now into the these realms I am shown my mother. When I look at her, she don't have a, a tongue. She don't have eyes. But it's like I am commanding her, show me what happened. Me, I was asking her to show me what happened that she be in the state. She takes me from each and every corner of the house where I grow up. She show me some particles of my hair where they are stored and she showed me uh, every uh, thing I could have never imagined about every part of the room and what 
everything is stored there, the family members, it was bad. To see and to think that people are no longer with us, but only to find that these people are just like still there, but with the naked eye, unless you go into the realms is when you get to see these people. And then I see my mother, I see other family members, I see these people. And then in this uh, realm, I'm commanding, who is this? Who is this that's doing this? And they, they reveal the name. And I am surprised as to how come this is happening. And I'm not even the one person to ask myself about why things are happening in my family, why people are dying like this. But I only, only to come to find out that this things that have been happening are, are, are things that are happening from generational curses and family altars that are, are, are unpurified, I would say. I come from a very big, big, big house back home. So there were, there's lots of rooms. There was this particular room no one else was supposed to, to enter. But me, I was always the one commanded to go into that room. And as a child, my grandma would say, this room, I trust you to clean it, because there's some money there. There is money there. I trust you are the one who's supposed to be cleaning this room. And I would be cleaning, trying to, to, to maybe spring clean. You'd see money coming out. You'd see money coming out. And then there would be money, like, not money kept in one place. And I never, till I had to, go into the realms today knew the reason behind that money and how it got acquired and I start to see now a, a place where I used to play in as a kid in this place there was a family a kraal where we do a rituals if ever there has to be some in initiation of some sort so we I used to every time if if I, I would cry, maybe I have a problem, I would just go sit in that place and cry, and cry in that place. But today I got to see the dark side of the things that were stored in that place I used to cry in. And then as I am moving, I start to, to see people take creatures and put it on my body, be it a bird, be it a frog, just moving, moving, moving inside my body these things start to come out of my body. These things start to come out. But it's like I'm just being shown a display of what was happening. After that, my mother takes me to the room I used to sleep in, and then she commands me also to sleep, I sleep. And then it's like lights off. Then I start to see a big uh, pattern. As it gets out, it, it would just go out. And then after the, the, the pattern goes out, there would be money next to next to the, the bed and I, I I have to say I need deliverance because what I have I have seen is like I was being used for some spiritual uh, money uh, for people to become famous using my body and up until today I've never even thought I was someone who, who is used in, into the, these deep, dark things, and but I, I war, I war against these things because as they are coming out, I start to see them. They are coming for me like these pythons. I command them out of my body using my own voice, commanding it out as as my mother is showing me. I command it out because me, I don't have knowledge of things stored inside me. I command it out. It's like these frogs start to come out of my body. The snake start to come out of my body. And it, it's not coming out in, in, in a form of it's just coming out and disappearing. It's coming out and it's running to come to me. And it's like as this, this thing is, is running to, 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 to come to me, there is like a, 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 instantly there becomes a division. Me, I'm on the other side, it's on the other side. But me, when I look, I see it's like they're going to find me. But it's like they keep getting blocked they keep getting blocked they can't come to me anymore and I was I was ecstatic I was happy for that and I, I, I start now to move and I see um, Baba taking me 
to a, 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 tra a, a, a train station where I tried once to, to kill myself in. And I saw also the, 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 the plan, the plot behind that um, suicide attempt and what was happening. So that's why I say if you are a, a, a youth out there having uh, some depression, you must know, you must pray for it. Even constantly you go to, 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 to the doctors, you get depression pills. There's nothing that's going to help. Today I got to see firsthand that these things are things that are planned by the enemy, are things that are scripted, written. They happen because someone said these things can happen. No one, you cannot think on your own to do things unless it is scripted somewhere. As I'm seeing, it's like Papa is dragging me from from this train and he asked, are you ready to war? And I say, yes, I am ready, Pap. And he just lift me up. He go with me up, 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 up. And then it's not even too, too high. He, he goes back down and he say, go war. And as I'm going to war, I come across all these people, all these uh, family members, these friends, these dark forces, these uh, creatures, marine spirits, because I see half humans, half half uh, serpents, and half like there's a, there's a, there's a, there are mermaids and stuff like that. And as these people start now to 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 come, it's like. I, I am I am commanded to fight against this and the thing that is stuck in my head is Papa saying war war and I'm warring into every force that is like created every distraction in my life I fought I fought I fought and as I fought it's like now after the fight is done I go into this quiet place a very peaceful place where that I, 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 if I could explain the, the, the beauty of the places out of this world I've never seen a place so beautiful it's, it's a it's it's a place with green uh, flowers and and red roses and everything and as I'm seeing I don't I don't see the face I just see the the, 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 the feet and as instantly I get there I, my, my, my knees begin to, to tremble because I can sense this is the Holy Spirit, this is the Holy Spirit. It's like inside my, 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 my legs, I just go down on my knees and then I start to, to see words in front of my eyes like there are signs. And as I'm trying to, 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 to read, I see I can't read this. And then I say, I want to know these words, what they mean simplified and then I see El Shaddai Adonai and then I I, I start to, to to scream to scream to scream and I'm not screaming like a, a, a scream of just screaming I'm screaming because of there's some fire that is like stored inside me that is just coming out after that I I just I just sit and I was like sitting in this place and and then I the the the, the Holy Spirit said the fight is not yet over. Stay in the realms and like that was it. I I have to say I'm 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 very blessed because it's been one thing after the other, one thing after the other, and. When I was in my matric, I I find out that I I have uh, cancer. I I just started coughing at school. I was, I'd find myself I'm always sick, constantly tired, or, or lack of breathing, and everything was just. At first I thought because it was 2021, and I thought maybe it's COVID. And then when I got there, it was lung cancer not even covered not even anything close i don't smoke i don't do anything it just came and at that time i was scared because to have cancer at that particular point in time and the kind me i had lung cancer it was 
it was very it was very bad and i was sick for some long for a long time i was not this big before i lost a lot of weight and i was losing hair and i i i, I was even at the point of understanding now okay this is what this is what's happening i was feeling i was very down i was i was just trying to hang on just trying just trying to hang on but i would i, I, I was just so down because i didn't understand why it had to happen to me and i understand if not me then who is it going to happen to because no one deserves it and everything was just falling apart to such an extent i had to go back home as so, as soon as i finished my trick and i was go, i was at home in the eastern cape i just would to just watch papa on the phone i would connect i would pray i would i would just in that excruciating pain i was in i never lost hope and i was i was like i am immortal i can't die i i i come from from an anointing of no death can can touch me and i would connect with him i would connect with him i would even keep him on my wallpaper screen and just be like everywhere i am protect me keep me safe just send the anointing that he have that god give him i wanted it transferred into my life at that particular time papa would always be talking about cancer cancer and it, i always felt like there would be no service he would not talk about it and i would I, i would be like okay i receive cancer is not your portion cancer is not and then as i go back to the doctor i go back to the doctor the doctor say you know what we're going to say we lied or we tricked you but you don't have it i don't we don't see it on your system you are fine i i became fine and i was not surprised because i was like anyways i i i, I am a son of this house it's 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 possible instant miracles happen and here i am I'm, yeah, I am. I'm alive and I'm fine, and I've gained more weight than the one I even had before cancer came. <laughs> and it's always been miracles after miracles. So the level of bad that happened is not compared to the good that God does. Because when God does good, He leaves memories for you to even think when you are in a bad situation that, okay, fine, that happened before. Don't forget. So. That is how I've been living my life and grateful for every every miracle God keeps performing in my life.